my name is Adam Perry. I'm a product manager for the AutoCAD team, and I'm here to talk to you today about uh, WS. Um, so right here, I'm going to show you the iPad app, and you'll see only the tasks that you would expect to do on a light user interface like an iPad will be available at WS. I'll show you some of the things that WS is capable of. So right now, we're going to open up a simple manufacturing drawing. Um, now, uh, using the simple iPad interface, I'm just going to zoom into a portion of this drawing. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we can do. I mean, first, of course, we have um, you know simple measuring capability. I'm actually going to grab this stylus, right? And I can um, select uh, different points, and I can uh, drop a measure distance. I also have the ability to um, add a note if I wanted to. That's a little internet humor there. So we're just gonna put a note in there to measure twice and cut once. For the iPad, we're not expecting someone to get into serious engineering design. The, the point here is that it's a collaboration tool. So um, let's say I'm a sales engineer and um, my uh, technical department has already finished a completed drawing, but I need a way to go to the customer site and sort of demo our ideas, take their feedback, maybe make some quick edits um, and, show, and, and show them uh, what changes they need to make. And I want to do it in a flashy way, like the iPad's a nice user interface, um, it's got a slick design, so now I can put a cloud around my note. And it's very easy to uh, draw the cloud here, and I'll just come back and it's finished. Um, you can enter a text box. I can do sort of a free line. Um, I have the ability to change colors. So if I don't like the color of this, I can, uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and change it to blue. Pretty simple, right? If I didn't like that color, I can change it to uh, green. So what I'm going to do is I'm, what I'm going to take this uh, large piece right here. I'm just going to move it to a new location because the customers told me that they don't want symmetry here. They want uh, actually parallelism. So I'm just going to grab this thing. I've got it, now I'm going to move it, and you can see we get a dynamic preview there, right? So it very easily allows me to place this thing in the proper location. Here I even see, did you see the snap there? Uh -huh. It snapped to vertical, so there's some design intelligence in there as well. Um, and the reason you get that design intelligence is because this is a true Realty WG AutoCAD application. Then if I made a mistake, just so you expect in any, any fully released product, I can easily go ahead and undo that change. This is really and truly what's known as Real DWG. There's a lot of um, uh, cheap competitors out there who uh, have uh, the open source version of DWG, uh, but there are a lot of translation problems uh, as you work with these folks going back and forth between uh, you know, a, um, an, a true AutoCAD application like LT or WS. Here, since we're native DWG, there are no translation issues. What you see is what you get. You know, I spoke before about sharing the application. One of the great things about this app is it's, it's, it's really easy to start a collaboration session with someone. I've got the capability to, to put in someone's email address, uh, shoot them an email, and if they have a, a, a PC or a Macintosh or another iPad or an iPhone, they can in real time see the changes I'm making. Not only that, but uh, WS allows for um, asynchronous sharing, which means that both you and me can make changes to the same drawing at the same time. None of this passed the baton for control, and geez, I thought I was still working, and permissions. It's very easy to let someone uh, make changes. It's designed to be a true collaboration tool. 